Hey YouTube, it's Deltrin here, welcome to an episode of Pokemon Black and White 2. So let's actually arrived at the Great Chasm. We actually got told that there was a legendary hero having to appear to actually save the day. The only one who can actually stop Kyroem, if you don't know, Team Plasma like, has taken over Kyroem, is Zekrom or Reshiram. So we need to actually find this legendary person, whether that be N or the old version of us, well, uh, the black and white version of us. And I'm actually really curious, how, how are we going to do this? Like... I've actually got no idea. We're actually put the Dows machine on, uh, by the way. It's like a massive maze here as well. Jesus. I hate mazes. Uh, which, which, I'm curious, like, how is this going to end? How are we going to save a day here? Because the the world is getting turned to ice, pretty much. Getting frozen solid. Also, free item. Ice beam. I'm not going to lie. Pretty good for free. So, so, like, the world is actually getting changed into whatever, like, w whatever... He um, everyone wants it to be. Also, there's nothing here, so uh, let's say we've got to go around there later on. And to be honest, I'm really curious how is this going to be portrayed because the world is getting turned to ice. It's getting, it's getting thawed into ice or whatever. You... Any items over here? Anything? Nope. So it looks like you can go either way. Ooh, that, that looks a bit dodgy, doesn't it? Oh, it is a Pokemon, okay. This replacement looks a bit weird. To be honest, I'm really hoping that our old, old self, you know, from the previous game actually does appear because that would be so awesome. Like, the character we knew in the last game, ourselves, we actually get to see him in in, in the flesh. That would be so weird, though, because like, we literally look like his clone. And I'm kind of hoping that's the case. And I, I, that's one thing I really love about this game. I think I've mentioned it loads of times. The fact that it continues on from the previous game, it's not a separate game. Like, it's, it's not like a reset. It's literally, ooh, okay, we, mean, we need to go that way, so we're not going to go that way yet. If, the, if that's the way you need to go, we're not going to explore that yet. Because I want to explore the Great Chasm to see what's actually here. Cause I've got no idea to be honest. Okay, ooh, items, items. Okay, there's an item up there. Ooh, I do like it here. I do like the mist. Okay. A yellow shard for free. I'm happy. I'm, I'm not going to complain. Okay, oh my god. There's like a full on area down there. Jesus. Okay. I don't know if this area was open up in the previous game or not. It had to be, wouldn't it? Oh, Route 13. Oh my god. Route 13? This is where it was in the previous game. So we actually got to. This place through Route 13, so it was here in the last game. Oh wow! And oh my god, it's because the ball. Oh my god, that's so cool! Like, I do like that quite a bit. Oh, so it's a free item around here. A free item. A free item. Where is this free item? Is it down here? Is it here. Oh, a heart scale. I'm not gonna lie, for free, pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like that how it's literally gone full circle. So we're actually back where we started in the first game. Like this is this is where we actually went to catch Kyroem. That's so cool, man. So, so cool. Also, there's an item around here. I want to get it. Oh, I don't know why. It's all about the little things. And that's one thing I really love. Oh, my God. Like, the nostalgia. Like, I know I, I played that game, like, just under a year ago now. And to be honest, to, to be back here, it's it's so nice, you know? It's like exploring a whole new region. And it's, it's not really exploring a new, new region, but there's kind of like a little twist on it. Wait, which, which way do we need to go? I'm guessing the other way is blocked off and we have to go here first then. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Come here. What's up, Hugh? Wait a sec. He said he wants to talk to them so his old allies won't get hurt. Ooh, is that Rook? Rude, even. Ah, I want to say it many times as it takes you to understand. Genesis' plan was to take over Unova. Liberating, liberating Pokemon was no more than an excuse. Anything, it, if anything, it would have made Pokemon... Suffer. Uh huh. Yeah, that's pretty. That's a pretty speech, Gramps. You fool. We're gonna. We're we're not gonna listen to what a traitor has to say. Oh my God! I'm gonna have to fight him. Well, that didn't work. Hey. Ooh, tapers getting in there. Let me through. What are you saying? Looking to get hurt? I'm going to get a stolen Pokemon back. I'm not going to listen to villains like you. Rude. X Team Plasma. Why do you have Pokemon by your sides? It's a good question. Why? To protect what's important to you. Oh, so that's why they actually got Pokemon in Pokeballs. That's finally answered. Okay, cool. Even if your precious Pokemon get hurt, even if your ideals are damaged, the time to fight is now. Whatever. Nobody's getting close to the Team Plasma French Frigate. Wipe them all out. Okay, you can try it. You can try it. You can try it. Dan, as usual, take the other one. And we're going to crush you along with the traders because Team Plasma exists to cause trouble. I'm not going to lie, I'm really interested in the story right now. I've never really been that involved into a Pokemon story, but the fact that, like, 
everyone's kind of like the old team plasma versus the new team plasma. I don't know who's going to win. Because it is such a close game. Also, I kind of wish it was a double battle. Because I love double battles. I, like, especially when it's like with someone who actually is semi-decent. Like, Hugh has got a high like hit in Pokemon. But I hope we can actually heal. Because I don't really want to deal with this guy if we don't have to. Pretty much. Because this guy is probably going to be annoying. I've got a feeling he will be annoying at least. So, uh, let's keep going for another air slash. To be honest, Coffin, pretty weak. I don't know why. Like, I honestly thought the Coffin would be like a pretty tanky Pokemon for what it is, but it's pretty weak. Also, Muck. Uh, Muck is an interesting Pokemon because it is a physical wall. And Nagi, pretty physical. So, I just want to get as much damage on this guy as I possibly can because Daco is going to have type advantage. So, I'm going to like, lower his HP as much as I can. That's not bad. Like, one hit kill is not bad. Jesus Christ, Nagi, you are good, man. You are bloody good. Glory to Team Plasma! Good luck, mate. Good luck. Yes, jog on, mate. What's up, Rude? Are you okay? You should take, a, to take this with you. Ooh, Max Revives. I mean, I'm guessing we've got like six or seven Max Revives. Not complaining. You too. Thanks. I'm passing through. Oh, it looks like their backup has arrived. Oh my god, there's more of them. There's more of them. Oh my god. At, at times like these... Those whose hearts are weaken, weaken, those whose determination falters, can accomplish nothing. To save our old allies, to protect you, Nova, we must fight. Both of you go. No, just a moment. Tappers, was that you? About the Pokemon you're looking for, in all likelihood, it is in the possession of the Shadow Triad, the Dark Warriors who appear silently. I got it. If I rescue it, that helps you guys as absolve, absolve your guilt, doesn't it? I guess I'll help you out. So it looks like the Shadow Triad has actually got the Pokemon. At times like this, I just believe they were, that we're on the side of justice. By serving my King N, I was going to make a world without war. But I conceded, and I couldn't see the unhappiness that we was causing. And that's why I couldn't let it happen again. Good point, man. Good point. I kind of like Rude. Like, he's on a whole new level. Also, Razor Claw increases critical hit chance. Pretty good item. Uh... I do like Rude. I, I do like him. He's a pretty nice guy. Also, it's entirely frozen, so we're actually near Cairo and we have to be. If it is, it's frozen. Oh, and Moonstone evolves certain Pokemon. For example, um, it evolves um, Clefairy into Clefable. Pretty cool. Also, oh my god, Ice Physics. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie, I really am liking this. Like, I don't know why, it's just it's just nice. Also, we're going on the ship again. We're on a boat and it's going fast and... Alright guys, he's terrifying. He can't be human. But he has a sir looking quillfish hair. <laughs> nice one. All of you Nova will be frozen by Karim's ice. I wonder if Zoldin will be okay. He really doesn't like the cold. He doesn't really care, does he? Struggle and squirm. Karim's ice is more powerful than Reshiram's columns of fire and Zekrom's crackling lightning. Okay. Cretin. Don't interfere with Team Plasma's conquest of you Nova. Um, well, I'm going to do what I want. So also we're going to enter the bowels of the ship. Unless there's actually something up top, which there might be. They might have actually refilled the, uh, the item. They haven't. You suck, Team Plasma. I was hoping we could get another free item. But let's go into the ship and see what's going to happen. So, uh, as you can see, we did turn off all the lasers so we can just walk straight in. And uh, are we actually going to be able to free Karawim? Is there a way to do it? Can we free Karawim? Because we need to stop him. I'm interacting with everything. Am I missing something obvious? I don't think we're meant to be here because it's not working. Hmm. So, do we have to go back downstairs? There's going to be like another puzzle or something? I have no idea. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go downstairs and see. Oh, downstairs is closed. So where do we go then? Hugh, what, what are we going to do? Go ahead. I'm going to make them tell me about the Shadow Triad. If you find a pill on the Shadow Triad, let me know. Okay, I will do, man. Oh, there's another hole down here. So is this where we need to go? It must be. Okay, door battle as well. Cool. So it's like we're going to go in a little onslaught. Knave, I do ambush thee. It's another battle. Okay, find, find me. Oh, you've been ambushed. Double team. I hate getting double team, guys. I really do. Fight me. Come on. Bring it on. Bring it on. So I do like that we're actually in a south entrance here. Like, we're not actually going the same path we did. But we can still see Kyrowim. And to be honest, I do like Kyrowim. It's a pretty awesome legendary. I kind of wish it got more, like, love. Because, like, it's one of those things. When you think legendary, you don't really think Kyrowim. You always think of, like, I don't know. Um, let me think of a really big legendary. Mewtwo. Articuno. Um, what else is there? Articuno. Um, Mewtwo, Articuno. I'm trying to name off all Pokemon here. Lugia, ho oh, they're the Pokemon you normally think of, or Rayquaza even. You don't really think, oh my god, Kyrowem, 
Great Pokemon. Let's go and use it. You don't do though. It's almost to say. Gung Shot. Shouldn't do too much. I hope he aims for Daco. It did. Like, it's not going to do too much damage to Daco. It is super effective, but like I said, it did do too much. Also, Whirlipede. It's going to die pretty goddamn fast to uh, Nagi because Nagi is an absolute boss. To be honest, we're going to go for a Leaf Blade on the Trubbish. Try to get a bit more damage on. I'm hoping Nagi uh, can actually one shot the Willipede. I think he can. Nagi is a pretty strong Pokemon and he is 15 levels higher and it is times 2 damage. So I honestly thought that was going to be possible. And of course, I'm going to get some more experience. Toxic. Oh, you're using Toxic, mate. That's like the most annoying move in the game. So my HP is going to go down pretty goddamn fast. So every time he attacks, it's going to go down by more and more and more. And by the end of it, I'm going to have no HP. We're also fighting a Scraggy, which is a pretty cool Pokemon. Uh, Scrafty even, not Scraggy. It's the evolved form of Scraggy. And to be honest, it does a lot of damage. So you need to get rid of that as soon as you can. Because it's a fighting type. And fighting type Pokemon are pretty strong. So it's best to get rid of him as soon as he comes in. And I'm pretty sure we can probably two-shot him here. To be honest, I'm surprised we didn't actually one-shot him. Because it was... Nagi is pretty powerful, but it's fine, you know. Also, with Daco's Poison, I just want to get rid of this guy as fast as I can. Because the longer we leave it, the worst off we're going to be. So, let's actually go for a quick air slash on the Scrappy. And a Leaf Storm on the Garbor. To be honest, I hate Garbor. I kind of wish I had Facade at this point. Because it would make a big difference. But, yeah, I'm not surprised. Garbor, Gabador, or whatever his name is, is pretty tanky. And to be honest, this could actually kill Daco. It hasn't. Okay, Daco lives another day. To be honest... I feel like we can actually take out this Garbog, whatever. It's just going to be, will Daco live to see the day? Because, like, Poison's doing some crazy amounts of damage now, as you can see. We're down to 18 HP. This guy is going to die. 100%. Garbog is going to die here. But I think Daco is as well. It sucks. But I should have actually gone for a Mega Drain, but I, I didn't want to risk it. I was trying to get as much damage as I can. I'm hoping we can take this guy down, which we can. Okay, I'm surprised, since we did have a special attack down. But, uh, come on. Air Slash is fine. Daco, rip. Good, good fight. Daco had no no chance, you know. He, he couldn't live that, sadly. Um, get, get in there, Lucario. It's all, it's all I, I can do, really, isn't it? I can't do anything other than summon Lucario. I'm a bit disappointed, to be honest. I honestly thought Daco would have lived. If only he sent out with the Golbat straight away, but let's go for an Air Slash. Golbat, it, it's going to probably live an Air Slash, to be honest. Let's go for an Endure. I see him actually switching out. Because it, it's one of those things, I hate switching Pokemon if I don't have to. So Lucario breaks itself, obviously. Mean look. It's going to stop me from running, which I'm not even going to switch out anyway, because there's no point. This bat battle is pretty much over. Let's go for an Air Slash. And... Yep, I saw that pretty much coming. Uh, let's go for another Endura. To be honest, I don't think it's going to happen. No, I, did, I, did, I didn't think it did. And to be honest, this is definitely going to kill Luke. That didn't kill Lucario? Okay, um, I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm surprised, but... Yeah, nice one, Lucario. Nice one. And it's also going to give Lucario like loads of levels, because it always seems to give... Pokemon, really weak little level, like loads of like experience. I'm not gonna change, I'm not gonna learn it. To be honest, I'm so surprised Lucario is, is as high level as he is. Woe is me. I lost. No, Team Plasma, no. Yeah, we need to heal up. So I'm gonna heal up really quickly. So now we're all healed, we're actually gonna continue on through the fire for our gate. I wonder how many battles are actually gonna be. Okay, this guy wants to fight me. Okay, let's look, there's another puzzle. At last, we meet again. Remember me? Formerly, formerly of team member, uh, team plasma. I've been waiting for you. Gah, spying is such a rotten job. I've contacted Root of the Seven Sages, but no one showed up to help me. I can't stand it. No one's around uh, me, and no, everyone around me is saying bad things about Lord N. But Lord N learned the error of his ways and changed the core for a better path. Yet, they they call him a betrayer, and people re really stink sometimes. They're selfishly counted on him. They they, they selfishly counted on him. And now that they selfishly make a big fuss about him being about being betrayed. Oh, I nearly forgot to tell you, this floor is the maze of pipes. You've got a step on switches to disconnect and connect pipes. And it's a good thing to, you can walk on the pipes. Okay, it looks like we've got a little puzzle to do. But I do think it's about time we actually end off the ep this episode here. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like. It'll be greatly appreciated. Next time I'm actually going to go and do this puzzle. Don't know how high it's going to be. Hopefully not too hard. I'll see you guys next time for more Pokemon Black and White 2. I'll see you guys then. Peace.